or if we use this phone because then it doesn't move like with this it's still kind of it'll it's move like around a cage so it move it can move some i mean the whole let's hold it but i think this, i like the foam i've seen the foam before yeah so once you put the foam in and you stick it in it's not gonna, it's move. Not gonna move the thing about the foam we normally use it for events but then if the transport it doesn't move but it doesn't last as long ah uh, because with this like with water you can put the food in it right then, but 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 the foam you can't put like food um it does it just doesn't work as well right so there are these little packets of flower food right that have right food. so it still works because it helps some of the bacteria and some people think that the foam is better because it lets less bacteria in right i definitely think that the water is better but it depends too if you change <laughs> the water so that's one of the things. I if never you, change the water. If you change the water every few days, that'll definitely make your Every few last, days? Last okay. Because it takes out the bacteria. Hi, everybody. So, you know, lately I've been a little bit more adventurous, trying to find new things to do and keep myself busy and occupied and my brain learning and functioning. And so I wanted to take a floral design class, which is something I've always wanted to do. Um, and then I was connected with Christina. I've posted her a couple of times. Um, she has created some of the most beautiful arrangements for, for me. Um, and she Hi. is a black female. So I have to support her, of course. Um, and so I asked her if she would be down to do, to teach me how to um, create arrangements. So, here we are. We were just talking about, okay, so this is the vase, and we're gonna use foam, because yes, so it'll- floral foam. Floral foam, because mm -hmm. once you put the flowers in, it'll stay better, opposed to, what is this called, a net? Chicken wire. Chicken wire. So chicken wire, it has these holes in it. It keeps the flowers secure. Okay. But not quite as secure because as you can see, the, some of the holes are bigger. Right. So, but once you stick it in the foam, it won't move at all. So the flowers can easily, the stems can easily go into the foam? Yes, we have to wet it. But yes, oh, we have to wet it, okay. Yes. So, so am I supposed to um, change the water every yes. couple of days every in the vases? Every two to three days. Oh, I never. Yes, that won't. That's awful. I never change or add water. Yes, because Dang. the flowers drink water. Right. And um, they get bacteria after a while, so it helps to get. Take the water. Okay. Good to know. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. I just let my flowers sit there and be pretty and and die. <laughs> hey, my forehead looks yes, huge. They dry out. So you want to make sure that you change the water and you can use these little packages of flower food that you guys have seen these before. Extend the life of your flowers as well. So after say somebody after after somebody receives an arrangement yes. with the flower food how many days after should they add so the food? if you get them from most flower shops we add the flower food so then you don't need to dump all the water after a couple days just add more add the flower more, food add more add water, more water. Oh, so okay. but if you buy flowers from like the grocery store and trader joe's is the best store to buy flowers, flowers the the they have the highest quality really? flowers. I've gotten my flowers so, a couple of times. But they it's come enough. with these packets so you can add that as you go. But most of the time, if you get them from me or other floors, they, we've already added, you know, the flower food to the base before it is Okay. So, you'll see. So, now it's much better. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm doing the, um, I'm going to use the phone. So our first flowers are hydrangeas. So you want to add your largest flowers first. Okay. 
hydrangeas. Yes, so white hydrangeas. I say hydrangeas. <laughs> so I am a delta, so I call it in a delta shape. Yes. But a triangle shape <laughs> is how you want to add your flowers. So okay. one here. Oh wait, I need to add your um Scarlet Flowers. Uh, team Scarlet. Team Scarlet. Oh. Yeah. I do that every single time. Team Scarlet? Yes. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now this is the, the base form of your arrangement and you'll build around this. The base. So you always want to add your largest flowers first. Okay. So, and then we're going to add some greenery. Someone said, okay, Delta. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, yes. So you just okay. add like that. Okay. And then. So, you cut up to, what do you? So, you can do, so, pick up. Oh, that's one of the key things to saving, keeping your flowers fresh. You don't want any leaves in the water. Leaves in the water. Okay. So, you can cut it here. But make sure you cut it on an angle. That also allows the flowers to drink more water when you cut it on an angle. Oh, I'm learning so much. Cut it on an angle. Okay. Ooh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Is this okay right here? Is it yeah. Going? No. Okay. So then. So cut at an angle and then triangle. So one should go like right here. Right? Yes, but you want to cover the okay. base of your, so like it's down at an angle as well. So at the end of your arrangement, you don't want any of the edge to show. Okay. So that's also what we're going to use the greenery for. Perfect. Good. So we're going to cut it on an angle and then put greenery in the middle of these spaces. So that gives you your structure and holds it. And if you were doing it in the chicken wire, the greenery would help to hold in the flowers. Okay. Wait, so how, cut about the same? Yes. Thank you. About there, yes. So, and then how long you cut it will determine how big the arrangement is. Okay. And so stick it just around in between? Yes. Like here? Yes. And at an angle still? Put an angle down. Down? No. This way. Yeah. What kind of So this is called this? a lemon leaf. Lemon leaf. This one is seeded eucalyptus. Ooh. So it's had eucalyptus. eucalyptus smell. Yes. Eucalyptus is super popular right yes. now. You can definitely put, if you were gonna use the one for your shower, uh -huh. this isn't it. You should there's, use the spiral eucalyptus. Okay, so I've learned that there's a difference. Is this the, no, this is not the silver dollar, but there is no, a silver there dollar. There is a silver that's dollar. Like round. Yes, it's round like little silver dollars. Yes. And then there's a spiral eucalyptus, which is the kind you should put in your shower. Shower, yes. And then this one's called seeded eucalyptus. And then there's a feather eucalyptus, which is a thin version of like these leaves. 
So they all pretty much smell the same. Mm -hmm. It just, the spiral has the strongest smell. That's why that's the best for the shower. Ah, uh, okay. all covered and we'll usually you add some more greenery at the end if we have any holes or anything that we want to cover up. so it's i'm just adding more yes you can add in between. between okay so what's really popular right now is um doing a lot of texture with the greenery so that's why we're doing different types and then you can just put these pieces in Over here. So, but when you take it out, cut it again so that the flowers and the greenery drink water. Okay. Okay. Cut it again. Drink water, just like we need to drink our water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure we're drinking our water. This one is called Gunite. It's another eucalyptus okay. family. Really? Yes, but again, I'll give you some more texture. And that smells you know, like regular it. eucalyptus too? Not as strong. Oh, okay. Like I said, the strongest ones are the silver dollar and the spiral eucalyptus. Again, some texture here. And it just gives really? some, like more movement to your arrangement. a little bit slow. Hold on. And typically odd numbers work better with flowers just the way that the design and the symmetry works out. So okay. most of the stuff that we'll be doing um, will be in threes. Threes, okay. Yes. So Now, what kind of flowers? So, this one is called a snapdragon. Snapdragon. These are pretty. Yes. I thought these were called... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but I've seen them before. Okay. <laughs> so, how much should I cut? So, cut. And then, again, make sure you take, take off the all the leaves. Okay. And then cut it about right here. Okay, so you so want then, these to be higher so they yes, stick. Yes, so it'll stick out. This is will be our tall element of the arrangement. And we're doing this in three, right? Yes. So again, that kind of like triangle. Yes, so it'll go in between the hydrangeas. Okay, in so one, two, three, okay. <laughs> so when, if you were doing it, as you see, that I'm doing it, mine is much longer because I'm putting it all the way in into the water. But when you have the floral foam, you know it doesn't go as deep because the water's in the yeah. So the water is already in the foam. Okay. So and then it just kind of is a personal preference how wild you want it to be <laughs> like so it could be you know taller if you like it sticking out Ooh, you know, those are not, pretty yes yeah, so this next one the dahlia which is one of the most popular flowers right now really they come in really gorgeous colors and they have about another month or so that um they'll be in season but this is definitely one of, I know peonies are one of your favorites and this kind of replaces peonies mm -hmm. when peonies go, on, go out of season. I feel like this one is leaning a little bit too much. I don't like that. <laughs> so yeah, just put it in a little deeper in the ship. Right. This one will go 
in between, like directly in between your hydrangeas down here. So one will go here, one will go here, and one will go there. So okay. right below the snapdragon. Dahlia, does it need to be like sticking, facing up or down or like? So it where you have it is perfect because it should be facing out, like facing right. up. So you want this the the angle that you placed it. That's the most view that people can get from it. Okay, and that's why again, basically we're making a centerpiece. So if someone was sitting at your table, they could see everything all around. So compare, it's like the arrangement that we did for you the very first time for the BT Awards. Yes. It was just three quarters because it was the back. Right. We didn't need anything. Right. Because we weren't, no one was going to see, see that side. Back. Right. That's what creates the bacteria in the water that kills your flowers faster. Oh. Okay. Let's take the leaves. Okay. Christina is going so fast because she knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all no, slow no. trying to make sure everything's perfect. <laughs> okay. That over here, right? Yes. So. Okay. Right in here. Because it probably needs to be a little shorter. Shorter? Yeah. This is kind of hard to do. Oh, that maybe the skin is not hard enough. Oh, there we There's go. probably another thing looking away. Okay. Okay. All right. So our next one is a calla lily. Calla lily. Yes. So again, you'll do it right kind of above the hydrangea. So then we're kind of all working in three. Into, okay. Yeah. And it's like a tier almost. Yeah. There, so, so we'll, by then, like I said, we'll build it up and then any holes we'll have to add some more in there. So the calla lilies are usually better in water because of the stem that they have. They, they're very long lasting in oasis or the, or the water. Uh -huh. It's just that because of the type of stem that it is, okay. it's hard, a little bit harder to get in. So if it it's is. hard, you can poke a hole with something harder and then, you know, so then you can just stick it in if you poke a hole oh, in first. Yeah. that. They bend a little bit. Yeah, so I don't you know, like break them. it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so okay. Use something and poke the hole first.
<laughs> you got it. That's not hard enough. <laughs> There's a lot of stores have these because they, they last long. Mm -hmm. And so when you if you're buying products for your house, then you want to get, you know, tighter blooms like this because they last longer. Um, but even once they're open, they'll last. But if you're trying to do, you know, an event where you want to have the centerpiece, then you want it more open like this okay. so that it's more showy and it feels it feels more of the vase. Um, if you're going to have an event, but if you just want to have flowers at your house or, you know, you're giving them to somebody, it can be tighter so that they can keep them for long. Okay. And so they should be placed between... Any of these holes, like holes just around okay. and we still have some other things to put in, but okay. wherever you have holes kind of next to the hydrangeas. Okay. Okay. Should I take these leaves off? No, I can leave them, right? You can leave the ones on the top. Anything that's not gonna be in the foam, you can leave it there. Now everyone knows what these are, yes. roses. So you have these. So, so again, if you want to keep it for longer, you would have a tighter rose. And but if you want it again to be open for something, you blow the top, and it opens up more. Oh. And so. Or there's some tricks where you can spin it like this and it'll open up more. Oh. And so the rose opens. Again, if you're having an event and you want it for an event, wedding, something like that, you will want the flower to be more open. Right. I've never seen that before. I'm going to try it. So this, would this open up more? Or yeah. no? It would. That one would. That one, maybe not that one, probably this one would, because that one's so cool. <laughs> See, yeah, it got bigger. Oh my god. Love it. Okay. And so for these, we're doing more than three. Yes, so we just did a half dozen for this. Okay. So And sometimes you'll have just one or two bad petals that you just take off and you can just pull it off, but just try not to touch. The main thing you don't want to do is to touch the top of the roses because once you touch the top of the roses, then they get bruised and damaged. Yep, I okay. just messed this up. No, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, should I take these out or no? Or to any of them out or leave them? Um, you would take probably just that one. Okay. Maybe this one. Does a little bit. It just has like a little small mark. Again, sometimes if you touch it by accident or in the packaging, it, no matter what, like even if they're straight off the uh, airplane where they come from Ecuador, mm -hmm. it's still, you know, just in the handling can get a little bruised. Okay. Yeah. 